Hi everyone, welcome along. So, I found a very interesting tool that I'm going to do a review on and I think it's something that could be quite useful today and that's this infrared thermometer. Okay, it's a body temperature thermometer but it doesn't touch the skin, it uses the infrared. Just aim it at your forehead and press the trigger and you get a really accurate reading. So instead of the old thing under the tongue or down the ear and all the rest of it, touching the body, this doesn't touch the body as at all, that gives a really good accurate reading, it's 0.2% accuracy, so it's pretty high. So let's have a closer look at it, shall we? Here then is our little device, see that there's three buttons on the front there, set up plus and minus, it says a medical infrared thermometer, and we get our readings here on the back. Two little batteries go in the bottom there to slide that back and it's two batteries, they're triple A ones, the little small ones and we're set ready to go. So quick run through of this specs of the thing. Okay, it uh, goes off with an alarm if the temperature is above 37.8 C. It's got an automatic shut off so after 30 seconds it just goes off, there's no one off button. And it has 16 data sets, so you can take 16 set temperatures and you'll have a, a kind of a date of what the temperature was on those particular settings. So you've got 16 of those you can store. As I said earlier, the error is between 0.2 degrees C, and it's pretty high. Uh, it can tell a fever or not by a different colour of backlight, green, normal, orange is light fever, red is high fever, so that's all kind of easy peasy. And it's kind of, when you turn it on, it's straight, kind of just pull the trigger and do it. Now also with this you get another function whereby you can set it to what looks like a house symbol on it, I'll show you, and then you can just take the temperature of inanimate objects if you like, that, that works from 0 to 100 degrees C, so that's quite useful if you have other uses for uh, getting temperatures of objects and things. So let's turn it on and have a look at it now. Right then we just turn it on, put the trigger here, as soon as you do that your screen is a light there, and there's the last reading. But um, to do a reading, you literally just pull the trigger, make sure it is on the smiley face and on the temperature setting, which we can check on the back of here by pushing the button. There's the house symbol. That's the one for inanimate objects. It'll always come on the one that isn't, so you can get a temperature reading straight away. All right, so there we are, back to the smiley face. That's the symbol we want for a temperature reading. So let's go and do Jan now, shall we? Okay, right, so Jan's here in the wood at the back <laughs> and a bit of cane. We'll just do a quick setting. And here we go. And we got one. Right, that's it. Let's go and have a look at this. As you can see, oh, I can't see the sun's in the lens. That's better. As you can see, 34.6, 34.6 degrees C is Jan's temperature there. And she's green, which means pretty good. She's all, all okay. <laughs> and it goes off after 30 seconds. There you go, done. I'll just aim it in the mirror there so you can see what's going on. At the forehead and away we go, dink. And my temperature reading is 35.6. Yeah, pretty good. That's okay. We've got a little smiley face there. Ruth, everything is fine. So lots of things you can do. As I say, you can set it to inanimate objects. Uh, you just turn it on. Push F2, and you should be able to read. You'll see a little house come up like that there. See it on C. That means now we can do inanimate objects, just fire at anything and get a temperature of it. So um, I'll tell you, I'll open the freezer door. Cold ice creams. Click. Reading. Well, it's actually reading 11.2. It's a bit of a job to see with this camera. There it is, 11.2 C. So sun's been on the hot draining board. Let's give it a go. And what have we got there? Well, there we are. Bit of a temperature difference, isn't it? <laughs> 27.6. And the draining board is quite hot. The sun has been on it. So. Handy if you want that thing. But mainly what this gadget about is obviously using it as a thermometer that doesn't touch the body. Well, there we are. That's this latest bit of equipment here. Quite like it. Come in handy for other uses, I say, which is quite good, isn't it, as well? So... <laughs> A useful little gadget and 
what your take on it is up to you. I just thought I would show you this latest thing here for you to have your esteemed opinion on. I'm sure you will. Uh, I'll give you the link for it if you want to buy it. Now, I had some masks a while back and people were a bit worried about the site that it was coming from. I can tell you the site is quite safe and kosher. I've ordered plenty of stuff from them before and they are quite reliable and safe. You can always use PayPal if you're not certain of them, but they are and have been for me all okay. So, I'll give you the link anyway. I've got a code as well for a little bit off from it. So, it all helps. So that's it, that's all I really want to talk about. Something else a little bit different in this world that may help, who knows. Okay, thanks very much for watching anyway and catch you again another time. Bye bye.